In this clip, we're going to be learning about pre-multiplication. Okay, so if you're coming from After Effects to Nuke, you may not realize this valuable step in the compositing process. After Effects goes ahead and pre-multiplies alpha channels for us. Um, and I've got right here an interpret footage dialogue uh, from After Effects. And this is usually what is going to happen. So I've got this robot, right? I've got the EXR file. Here he is in the timeline. And it's got an alpha channel. And so After Effects usually automatically interprets that and pre-multiplies the alpha. Now pre-multiplied simply means that it looks at the alpha channel and the colored pixels and it says wherever the alpha channel is, so wherever the white pixels in the alpha are, I'm going to leave those pixels there and whatever's black or some version in between, I'm either going to knock out the black or the in between is going to be kind of a semi transparent area. So that's why I'm able to put this robot over the field uh, image here. So you can kind of see how this is, uh, you know, just looks like it's on a transparent background. And that's something you've probably taken for granted in the past. Now let's jump into Nuke and talk about how it handles pre-multiplying. So this is where we left off in our last clip. And Probably, again, we kind of took for granted that the robot just went right over the background whenever we merged those together. Now that is because sometimes when you render from a 3D application, it's going to automatically pre-multiply that data. So that's why whenever we merge it over, it just automatically does it. Now there's sometimes when an image was rendered in a way where it wasn't pre-multiplied. So I want to bring one of those in and show you the difference. So I'm going to hover over the node graph area here, hit the R key, and bring in the robot not multiplied EXR, and or not pre-multiplied. Um, and when I view it, you can see that it has this colorful background. Now let's see what happens when I add a merge node and I plug the B pipe in the same way I had before to my background image and the A pipe into the not pre-multiplied robot. When we view, we get this hazy blue because it doesn't know how to treat the alpha. It's kind of trying to put it on top, but it doesn't know exactly the, the math that it needs to be doing. Because again, in Nuke, you, in Nuke, you need to tell things what to do with nodes. It doesn't automatically do a lot of things kind of the way the After Effects does for us. And this is good because then we have more control over our images. So what I want to do is go ahead and pre-multiply that alpha. So I can add a pre-mult node. And when I add that and place it there, now it looks at the alpha channel, which is the same as what we had over here for this robot. It just simply was not pre-multiplied as part of that EXR. So now that we've pre-multed it, we've got a nice image here ready to go for us. Now, sometimes you may be in a situation where you have a uh, node like this where it is a pre-multiplied EXR or alpha channel and you don't want it to do that because maybe you need to do some color correcting or you need to do something that's going to cause it to need to be pre-multiplied later. So what you can do is you can add an unpre-mult node and when I add that I'm zoomed in here because I want you to see how on the edge it kind of gets really alias looking. It's very stair-stepped. So basically it's kind of just performing this operation where it's sort of duplicating those outer edge pixels and it's not very clean. I mean when I'm zoomed out it looks kind of pretty but when I'm you know zoomed in here close it's it's pretty bad. But then all I have to do is whatever operations I would want to perform at that point and then I can just add another pre-molt node and drop it right there. And then we're back to where we were. And you'll notice that this looks the same as this. 
So the pre the already pre-multiplied version and this pre-mult are the same. So really anything you would do in between, you don't have to worry about it causing any kind of issue unless you're directly manipulating the alpha channel with some other kind of node network. So that's a quick look at pre-multiplication and how we use it inside of Nuke versus After Effects. Now, let's go ahead and jump into our next clip where we're going to learn about the transform node.